What, 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 what? Hello and welcome to another full suit edition video. I'm Pakari, you're my amazing viewer, and this is a Q&A. Also, I'm sorry that my sleeves look so doofy. Uh, so they're supposed to go over my paws and clip into the pop studs, but I can't do it by myself. So uh, you're just gonna have to deal with the uh, really flabby wrists. Look at all that flab. I'm doing YouTube comments today, so let's go. From Jordan Wolf. Finally remembered my question. Oh good, that's handy, that helps. Uh, what is your opinion on Autumn Falling's fursuits? Also, I love you so much, Pakari. Thank you for making the videos you make. Oh, thank you. Autumn Falling's, I have definitely come to like more and more over time. Uh, I wasn't the biggest fan of their older style with the bigger eyes and the massive heads. Don't get me wrong, it still looks adorable and I still love their suits and their suitors. It's just not the kind of suits that I would get. But their newer suits, oh, I will definitely get. I love how much attitude they're able to put into them, especially their grump suits. Oh, they're so good. I want one so bad, but it's so impossible. From Bren, I've got a question. Would you like a slice of me? Yes. From Anomatrium. Ooh, you better own the art in that picture. That better be your character because that's done by one of my favorite artists, Okimono, and you've stolen that art, I'm gonna be mad. Uh, hey, I have a question. You mentioned that you grew up in a very musical household and being in an orchestra, so what instruments do you play? I personally play the violin, currently learning electric bass. Also, greetings from Indiana. Hello, Indiana. I play the saxophone. The alto saxophone, specifically. Uh, I can play all of them, but the alto is definitely my favorite and my main instrument. Uh, I remember when I got to play soprano saxophone for the first time. Why would you make a saxophone that doesn't sit with the saxophones? Because they read, like, the, the fingering is trumpet music. They've got, they're in the same key thing. Oh my god, I haven't done anything music for a long time. They're in the same key as trumpets, so you gotta sit with the trumpets with your little golden clarinet that's actually a saxophone. And then you gotta read the trumpet music, but the fingerings for the trumpet music is different for the out of soprano saxophone. And then my computer, the conductor is like, oh, you could just transpose it sight, can't you? Say so what? Oh yes, I am a saxophonist. Love all the saxophones. Uh, I played it in suit like once. Um, that was a couple years ago. <laughs> Yeah, I will probably crack it open again some other time. I've still got it with me, I just haven't had the chance to really play it. Uh, yeah, I'd love to <laughs> go around chasing people at cons playing the Benny Hill theme. From that one person, how much trouble did you have trying to pick out a fursuit maker and how tough was the competition? It was pretty easy. <laughs> as soon as I saw more for less and how toony and awesome their suits were and the moving eyebrows, I'm like, yep, cool, done, need that. And there wasn't much competition back then, so this is like, what, three, four years ago now? Back then, more for less was just perpetually open for commission. They'd accept pretty much anyone because they were still a smaller maker. So I didn't have any competition at all. It was awesome. I have tried to get slots with some more competitive makers. Uh, Order Fallings, uh, Phoenix Nest, and Batitude. Uh, obviously, I didn't get any of those. Uh, it's hard. It's really hard sometimes. Oh, I want a Phoenix Nest suit so bad. From Spec X3. Hey, Bakari, do you have stuffed animals? And if so, what are your favorite ones? X3 Spec. Uh, all our soft toys are currently in uh, bin bags and boxes and things because we're still moving. As much as I would love to show you my collection, uh, I really can't. Like, so both Kiva and I have sort of put our collective plushies together for a pretty awesome collection. Uh, I've got like a couple out, I can show you those. So here we have my very special uh, shiny Taffy Coco plushie, which is a Pokemon if you're not Pokemon savvy. Uh, I brought him back from the Pokemon Center. Uh, I think it was the Osaka one specifically. Very special and you know, limited edition, so I'm all over that. And my budgie. I love my budgie. Also from Japan. But the little little budgie pillow he just sort of sits there on my bed being adorable because I love budgies and my actual budgie isn't tame enough to cuddle. Budgies are my favorite kind of bird, if you are, don't already know. Love budgies. Even my phone has budgies, like check it out. So you got the two little hanging ones there. Whenever the camera wants to focus on them, it's fine, be that way, but you can still see them. And then <laughs> On the back, we have so much budgie from Mystical Firefox 924819. Pakari, how did you find the drink Pakari Sweet? Uh, I'm gonna assume you meant sweat. 
I think I've told this story before, but I can't remember, so I'm just going to tell it again anyway. Uh, this was on my very first trip to Japan in 2010 with my high school. Uh, so we're out and about, needs some water, and thankfully uh, Japan has vending machines plastered everywhere, so it's pretty easy to get a drink. And as I'm looking at the vending machine there, I couldn't quite work out what one was water. Like, none of them had the water kanji on it, so I couldn't really uh, tell what was what. But then I saw Pakari sweat, I'm like, oh. Yeah, it's a sweat, like you, you drink water when you're sweaty, so maybe this one's water, it looks like water. And I bought that one, and then you've just got this bottle of un unknown cloudy substance, like, oh, uh, I don't know if this is water or not. But I drank it anyway, uh, it took a while to get used to the taste, I love it now, but it's for a very odd taste, that's for sure, and, you know, it's like an actual uh, ion supply drink, so it sort of replaces all the good stuff you lose when you sweat, so. It ended up being better than water. From being the rabbit, how do you deal with furry haters in public and what was the craziest moment you had with a hater? Thankfully, I haven't really had any encounters with outright furry haters in public. But um, if you're in public with a fursuit and someone's like actually harassing you and hating on you and just being you know, a general annoyance and uh, a concern for your safety, that's when you need to take them aside and take off the head because they forget that you're human. Like. They obviously know there's a person in the suit, but because they can't see your face, they don't empathize, and then they're more in more inclined to be mean, in a way, because, you know, you're anonymous. So, if you take the head off, and then they can see how pissed you are, then that usually makes them go, oh, oh, oh yeah, you're a, <laughs> you're an extra person, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna go this way. Seriously, if you're in public, and you have terrible handlers that aren't looking after the situation for you, you need to break the magic, alright? Take your head off, let them know that what they're doing is not okay and you are very serious about them stopping. From Rainbowie's house, will you notice me, senpai? From I Am Anime, when you're suiting up in a fursuit, do you keep the shoes on or just socks or something? You always want to wear socks, so that way you're not sweating directly into your fursuit feet, but shoes depends on how the feet are made. Uh, some feet will have shoes already built into them, so that it doesn't matter. Some feet like mine are actually like built like slippers, so you don't need a shoe, and you just wear a sock, and then they're all nice, soft, and squishy. And yeah, other ones, you can just wear a shoe inside, especially if the, the foot's a bit too big for you. You can just wear some flats, and that will help sort of pad it out a bit for you. So you usually don't have to wear shoes unless the, the foot's too big for you. From Akarui, hey Pukari, are you going to VidCon in Australia this year? I might. Uh, I'm thinking about it. I only just learned of its existence <laughs> the other day, and a fox brought it up. And, uh, yeah, I'd like to. Um, whether or not I'll be able to afford to at that point in the year, I have no idea. But it'd be nice, so <laughs> if I can afford, sure. But otherwise, I don't know. Alright, that is it for this week's Q&A. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll do more comments next week, so leave me some questions in the comments below. And then I shall answer some of them next week. Alrighty, I will see you in the next video. Bye!